Alright, welcome back to Minecraft Modding. If you don't know Java, today I'm going to show you my terrible, terrible art. And we're going to make uh, an, an entity. Uh, I didn't make 99% of these. The ones I made was this, like, Hulk Fist, which sucks. And I, that's a stolen skin for other mods and stuff that I made. So anyway, uh, we're going to make a modded entity right now. So this is Blockbench. I'll leave a download of this in the description. We're going to create a new model. We're going to call it Tutorial. And then what we're using is Forge 1.17, 1.18 Moj mappings. You don't want the MCP. If you're using an older version, um, then you can select these. But uh, this tutorial is for 1.18, so it should be for 1.18. All right. So we're going to make just a... Uh, a thing that kind of walks, right? A four-legged thing that walks. So, what we're going to want to do is we're going to add a couple groups. Ones that aren't in each other. We're going to want a body, head, uh, front, right, leg, a front, left, leg a back left leg and a back right leg and then if you're going to add a tail you add a tail one as well this is all so that we can separate animations but for now I'm just going to uh, do, do this alright so we're going to add a cube It's going to go up. It's going to be like that. This will be the front left leg. So everything is based off the north, right? So we'll add another cube. Right there. This is the front right leg. Uh, oh, that's a group. Add another cube. I think it's six tall. You get the drift. Back left. Back left. And now I'm just gonna copy and paste this cube over here and just there we go. A body. Add a cube. A very simple program to work with, right? Okay. And now a head. Where we're we going to. I was going to just leave it at that because that's funny, but I do want to add a nose for. Uh, tutorial reasons so that I can show that you can have more than one cube inside of that. So, here we go. There's our guy. Our friend. We can also uh, paint him. So we're going to uh, not import a texture. We're going to create a texture. Uh, we're going to make the pixel density 64 just so that you can see, hit confirm. So you have a lot of space to work with in your color thing. If you know how much is going to be, then screw it. Whatever. Who cares? All right. So he's going to be a little pink boy. Just the paint bucket to just boop, boop, boop. And then he's going to have brown legs. Again, you can be a lot more artistic than I. Uh, I'm just doing it like this. For ease, I'm going to make the body disappear so I can color in these. And we can bring the body back. Go back to that pink because I forgot to do the bottom. And now his head's going to be, well, his nose is going to be orange. And then his head is going to be a light blue. And 
And then I'm going to give him there. <laughs> He's perfect. <laughs> no, we'll give it, we'll give him some nostrils too. Perfect. This is my my guy, my friend. So now it's super it makes it super easy to export Java entity. And now he comes out as custom model. We can rename him to uh, tutorial entity model. And then we're gonna save this to not oh the biomes you'll go. To where is my tutorial mod? Sort by name. Oh, that's troll difficulty. Again, I make a lot of mods. Tutorial. Do I have my one tutorial? No, okay. I got one tutorial. Source, main, Java, uh, whatever your name is, whatever that. Uh, this is actually going to go into a new package called client. And then we're going to add a new package in here called models. We're going to save it in there. Model can not be re-imported. That's fine. Oh, wait. No, we don't want to save that. Well, you, you might want to if you want to edit it later. But I'm not going to. So now if I come back in here, you should see that those packages have been created. In here. All right. So some of the naming stuff has very much messed up. So we're going to, sh we're going to rename this. Uh, refactor, rename file. This is going to be tutorial entity model. We're going to do the refractor. And then we're going to import that class as the Minecraft world entity. Why do you not like that? There. Okay. So now all that should import correctly. Now, we're going to do something I like to call cheating. We're going to hit control and we're going to go to the cow model. Oh. And we're just going to you see this setup animations? We're just gonna. No, we're just gonna. Oh wait, no, we can. Here, we just boop. Head, we change. Oh, I accidentally hit the insert key. Head, we change the head. Uh, right hind leg is back right leg. Back left leg. Front left leg. Front right leg. And now, hold up, let's just check. This is... Uh, this one is head pitch this one is net head yaw this these are all oh, control r to replace those with limb swing control r to replace those with sync amount so say you want to do different animations other than just like walking along or um, uh, like, like, or you have less than uh, four legs or something like that, then in Blockbench here, I would recommend that you download under File Plugins the GeckoLib Animation Utilities and the Animation to Java Converter. This is so that you can uh, convert your animations from GeckoLib to Java code so it turns into stuff like this and you can just paste it in. 
or you can install the GeckoLib API. I will be doing a video later on setting up APIs and working with those, maybe, if I feel like it. And uh, then uh, you can run it in a different way using uh, resources. Like, it'll all be files and your assets. All right. So now we have to, uh, we need to make a renderer. Oh, that's a class. We need to make a new package called renders. And then in here, we'll make a new Java class. We're going to call it tutorial entity renderer. And this is going to uh, actually, this is going to have a generic attached to it where T extends tutorial entity. This is so that we can use tutorial entity in multiple places uh, in the generics and the rest of this. So extends, this is going to be a mob renderer, which takes in tutorial entity and then tutorial entity model, which takes in the generic tutorial entity. So now theoretically you could type out and instead of having this you could type out tutorial entity here and here but this just makes it a lot more convenient and you get to use it in other places like you can get texture location see it'll automatically use this t here instead of having to put tutorial entity all right so now in this uh renderer part we can set our shadow uh, radius. And also we need to add in the model here instead of just using this here because we need to actually bake the model. We can get rid of this float as well because we're just gonna input it manually with uh, new sorry, entity model. Uh, this we're just going to call context. We're taking context dot bake layer. And then, oh, right, model layer locations. I completely forgot about this. This is something that's new. We're going to make this 0.35 because I feel like it. That just sounds like a fun number. Uh, so in the model here, we need to make a defined layer location. Um, I don't really know exactly what this is for. It's just something you got to do. Someone can explain it. Maybe if you Google it, maybe it's on the forge docs. I don't even know. I just copied the same one from all my mods. So I just do a public static final model layer location layer location equals new model layer location which takes in new resource location uh, tutorial mod mod ID and then a string entity and then a string of main so this is just it goes in your main thing here just the name of your layer location that you're making to be honest don't even know what the, this does it's just something you got to throw in there and if you don't it errors and you can't do it uh, Someone can probably explain it better than I can. So this bake layer. So then we're going to take this to uh, tutorial entity model dot layer location. There we go. So then that'll bake the model to that layer location. And we're going to set the shadow of this thing to this dot shadow radius equals 0.4f sure why not so now this we're going to set the 
resource location for where the texture is located. Oh, right, in Blockbench here, you want to save the texture. We'll save it as tutorial entity png. We'll throw that into resources, assets, tutorial mod, textures. We'll make a new folder called entity and save. So now this is going to return a new resource location. Uh, tutorial mod dot mod ID. And then in the string, it's going to be textures slash entity slash tutorial. Bro, I don't even know what's going on anymore. Tutorial entity. Perfect. So now if we look here, uh, entity tutorial entity here you go just the picture there it is so now we got to register these renderers and all the fun things in the main class here well we got to bake the layers we got to register the renderers we got to do <laughs> renderers register the renderers all that stuff so more private so it's more events stuff like this private void we're going to call this bake layers. It's like a kick. Get to do some fun baking. Uh, entity renderers. Entity renderers event. Dot. Register layer definitions. Here's event. We're going to do event. Dot. Register layer definition. Uh, tutorial entity model dot layer location comma and then tutorial entity model dot create body layer oh not dot colon colon because it needs a supplier perfect and now we're going to go private void register renders oh not render definition it's just going to register renders there you go so entity render is event so register renders instead of register layer definition register renders different event so this is going to be event dot register entity renders and then mod entities tutorial entity because it's going to take an entity type and this is going to take in tutorial entity renderer oh no a new instance of it and why don't you like that oh because this has got to be dot get there you go so now it's the same as these. Plus add listener. This Pick layers. So yeah, what this is is this is the class that actually runs off the start, and then everything gets shoved in here. This is the what actually starts when it when your mod loads. This is the line. This is the block that runs. So if you want it to do something, you really got to put it in there. Well, you got to put in other classes, but everything has to somehow make it back to there. Right? That makes sense. I know what I'm talking about. I do this for a living. All right, so now if we run our game here. So it turns out I made a problem, and I accidentally made this layer location here in uh, the tutorial entity and not in the model. And there was already one defined in the model, but the thing is, it had the wrong mod ID, so it, and also it used capital letters in this, which you cannot do. All right, so we are in our world here. Uh, have our stuff. Remember, I, I totally forgot to texture those. 
But if we type slash summon, we should see at the bottom here our tutorial entity. He is here. He is also textureless. Hey, buddy. Why you be textured like that? So if we look through here, we can see that tutorial mod textures entity tutorial entity does not exist because I forgot to go to here and that dot png. So if we hit this button and then we go here and see, there it goes, fixed. Usually you'd have to F3T to reload the textures, but some fixed there. And <laughs> so, so So, um, <laughs> I may or may not have forgotten in the model here to, um, I was supposed to change some rotation points here. If I look, body, edit, pivot point. You want to edit the pivot point. Yeah, you see the pivot points right there. So we center it. And then raise it up. Oh wait, that's the head. Uh, so pivot point, we want to that down and back there. So now we pivot there. The front leg. Set that pivot point there, 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 there. So now we have proper, proper pivot points. <laughs> so that. <laughs> uh, all right, file, export this job entity. Alright, so now we got this one here, all we're going to do is we're just going to copy that, so there, and then delete that, and that should fix it. Alright, yes, yeah, so that did get it working. Uh, was I just forgot to reload textures? You have to F three T uh, reload your textures. And it should work. There, there he goes. Now his head's not moving, but that is because we forgot to add. Uh, here in the entities. This dot goal selector dot add goal new look. Around random look around goal. This now, I don't think if this does rebuild, it won't work with this guy, and it might not work at all. But we can, uh, what did we have him chase? What was his tempt goal? Acacia log. So if I hold out this. He's going to keep looking at it and keep looking at me and follow me around until I get out of reach. So yeah, that's it for uh, basic entities. We made our guy here. I'll show you more advanced things in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Okay, bye.